Hey, what's up guys? In this video tutorial, we're going to go ahead and turn on an LED through your Raspberry Pi Pico W through your Wi-Fi network. This is going to go through the browser where you're going to pass a call that's either going to turn on or off. Well, my name is Andrew and let's go ahead and get into this. So let's go ahead and jump into this wiring diagram because I'm just using your basic LED one. And I'm just going to use the regular Raspberry Pi Pico diagram in this case, but just know that this is using the Raspberry Pi Pico W with the Wi-Fi module on it. So as we transition to Tani, there's going to be a couple things we need to do. And I got this tutorial really from the Raspberry Pi documentation, but I did make some changes for best practices. And those best practices are really how you store your network name and your password. Before we do anything, you're going to create a new Python file. In this case, we're just going to call it secrets. You're going to have your SSID equals within quotes, whatever your network name is. Then obviously you're going to have password equals password. You're going to go ahead and save this. Uh, I'm not going to save it because I already have my network password and name in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. When we go back to the, what I'm going to call the Wi-Fi dot Python file, we're going to have to make sure we import secrets because this is going to be our Python file itself. Within our SSID and password, we're going to see that we called on, hey, this is the file secrets, grab its parameter that we called SSID, and the same thing with password. And there's no other changes you need to make. Go ahead and run this. And we could see it's connected. You'll see that they'll say waiting, 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 and then it'll eventually connect. If it fails, then I just say, go ahead and rerun it again. What we see here is going to be our IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the web browser, which is going to be Chromium. And I already wrote down what my address is. So I'm going to go, to go ahead and copy and paste that in. This is actually going to call on. If we scroll down, we'll see where the call is. So you have LED on. It's going to look for, you know, this is going to be your URL and then the file path on what it's going to do, if it's going to be on or off. So let's go ahead and put this in the browser and run it. All right, very cool. We could see that it executed. Our LED status indicator says that it's on. And when we look at the code, we could see that, yep, this is the IP address I'm running. Uh, this is the URL we passed in. And then we have your LED on. So let's go ahead and do the inverted test. We'll just put an off. And now when we look at our shell, we could see that LED on is negative one, but we have LED off. So when you're actually looking at your breadboard, you could see it turn on and off. This works the same way if you have it on your phone. So you just have to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi itself or connected to the network in order to do this. All right, guys, um, I hope this helped you guys out. My name is Andrew, and if you have any questions, drop it in the comments below and let's talk about it. I'll see you guys at the next video.